I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play the Joylancer, Legendary Motor Knight, the Hero's Gauntlet. Not sure you're legally allowed to have two subtitles there, but uh, I'll let it slide. This game was obtained free of charge through itch.io's uh, press program, by the way. Um, this game obviously has, you know, Game Boy style or, you know, Game Boy uh, colors. It also has Super Game Boy borders, like, uh, like I'm showing you currently. Uh, we're gonna leave that off though, but it's a neat touch. All right, you can play the game with a uh, 360 pad or you know anything with uh, X input. Excuse me. All right, the gauntlet, whatever. There is true joy in lancing. Burst the limit. No idea what I'm doing. Bur Interesting physics with the, the stab sort of slows you down in midair. Very much Kirby vibe going on with the, uh, arena sprites. Hmm? Obviously missing something. Oh-ho! I see. Perhaps there is joy in Lansing after all. Oh, hey, there's little duders. Hello, dudes. I will kill you. There you go. The game can be played with, you know, um, 360 pad or an X input, you know, anything. I initially started playing on my 360 pad, um, but the game's D-pad only. 360 D-pad is awful, so I'm playing with a DualShock 3. Um, charge the pad. Oh! Interesting. What? Why aren't you attacking down? Do I have to charge up? Okay, I do have to charge up. Okay. So the gimmick is definitely charging up your lance. I guess that's why it's motor night and not, you know, solid state night or something. I do like the look very... obviously... Game Boy inspired, but probably a bit higher res. Not super high res, of course, but uh. Charge the pad. Oh! I have to go on the pad. Okay, okay, I understand now. The game is in alpha, by the way. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier. But yeah, the game's not complete. Um, you can purchase it and play what I am playing. Ow. Do I have lives? How does... I'm not sure how this works. How did that... How did I do that? Wait. How did I... I did a back dash. I did a back dash. Excuse me, sir. Do you know how to back dash? Did that lose me coins? Let me see if that loses points. Excuse me, sir. Kill me. Hmm. I guess it just costs me time, because this is some timed mode. Anyway, I'm gonna kill you. Now you're dead. Okay, how do I do that dash? Oh, you jump in the middle of an attack. Okay, so it's only two buttons, I guess. Which makes sense, given the Game Boy thing. Boop! I like that downward thrust. Whoa! What was that? Is that a quarter circle thing? Now that's the quarter circle thing. Okay. Is that a dragon punch? No. Double forward? No. Hmm. Maybe that's just forward. Yeah, that's just forward. How did I do the shoot thingy then? Alright. I'm not sure why I have to charge the pad every time to go to the next stage, but whatever. Excuse me. Ow! What? What's going- what- what did I just do? I have no idea what happened there. 
combat mechanics in this game are seem to be deeper than they initially appear. Oh, sweet! It's like a power grapple. I approve of that. Alright. Interesting what they can do with the- oh, I want those. With the uh, combat system, even though they're sticking to the Game Boy um, two buttons thing. You know, plus start and directions. Very limited control scheme, but... Ah. I was recently impressed by what um, Metroid Fusion manages to do with its control scheme. It's got many less buttons than um, Super Metroid, but it actually kind of works better, frankly. Um, you have less options on what to do, of course, which is unfortunate, but really I feel... You know, it sort of gets rid of some un unnecessary or awkward stuff in Super. Like, I'm not really sure... Super Metroid definitely would have benefited from having two shoulder, or you know, four shoulder buttons. And so it's sort of unfortunate how its controls sort of worked out. Um, still plays great, but uh, switching weapons in that game I find to be fairly annoying. It would it would do better with you know, I don't know, things. We're starting to see some new enemies here. Little sword duders. Sword birds. There's a new one on me. Ow, excuse me. I don't even recognize freaking the sword bird Pokemon. Thought they were done making new ones for a while. Ow. What what's this? Oh, that was the projectile attack. You can grab stuff and throw them. That's one way to kill him. I'm still not sure I did that awesome grapple. It was not. That was not how. Let's charge the pad. I'm sure I have, like, the world record for worst time by now, but whatever. Oh, another new enemy. Some sort of shinobi looking player. Not really shinobi. Um, samurai. Whatever. You know what I mean. The thing with the swords. That one. Man! I like the frickin' downward thrust, and it doesn't work on these guys. Well, crap. Pardon me, gentlemen, I need to charge up my lance. You know how it is. Don't you get- what? I guess they all have a different grapple death. This place Sir TapTap -Tap has no idea how to control the game he's playing. But still does surprisingly well considering. Well, kind of surprisingly well. I've died quite a lot. You're a jerk. Oh, you have to like... Okay, I see how the throw works. You have to leave them, like, in that stunned state. And then you just sort of walk up to them and punch them. Dang it. I always want to use that dash punch in midair, but then I don't have the dash punch to use on land. Damn it. I wonder how many stages there are in the gauntlet. It didn't seem to let me start the story mode at all. Oh right, I keep forgetting I have that um, Symphony of the Night style backdash. I never use that in most games. I never use it in Symphony of the Night, I never use it in Bunny Must Die. I'm sure I'm glad I have infinite lives, otherwise I'd be very dead. Oh. I'm never quite sure when I'm in that, um, throwing animation.
Let me see if mashing helps. Yes, it does. You want to mash. I can handle that. I'm not sure what the four means. Is that like defense value? Because only the biggies seem to have that. Oh, I grappled him in midair, but it failed somehow. That was pretty cool. Wish I could say it was entirely intentional. Aw, oh, you throw those guys at the wrong angle. Yeah, you're dead. Oh. Thought you were dead. Now that guy had a three. I'm not sure what the numbers are exactly. Alright, definitely getting the hang of this better. Excuse me! I said I was getting the hang of this! You don't attack me! Well, this is a pickle. Excuse me while I kill you. So if- do I- am I just guaranteed to take damage if I hit these guys into a corner then? Without killing them? Hmm. Alright. Okay, you do that if you're- jump out of a da- or jar jump out of a charge. It's stage 10 and still learning basic game mechanics. It's just how I roll. Ah. This poor guy, he looks so tired. Whoa! What was that? That was an awesome combo. I have no idea why it happened. Like charge in the middle of a combo or something? You kind of can. Okay, that felt much better. You can sort of just press down and charge in the middle of your combo, and that seems to work a lot better than just letting your energy deplete entirely. Oh crap. Okay, yeah, definitely want to play this on something not a 360 pad, because, uh, very deep hat heavy. DualShock 4 or a Nintendo controller is probably optimal. DualShock 3 will work. Ow. My favorite D pads are probably. The Vita would be first if it weren't for the size. I would really love a full sized Vita D pad. It's just. so yummy. Um. Then it's probably a tie between the DualShock 4 and the uh, Wii Pro Controller, um, which is basically the same thing as the gamepad. And then, hmm, not sure for, for number three, it'd probably be the SNES. I guess the SNES, a good, all good Nintendo D-pads feel about the same, but there's some bad Nintendo D-pads, and that makes me very sad. Bad Nintendo D-pads include um, the Wii Moat, not terrible but not good. Um, the GameCube controller. That I can't believe people think that's the the best Nintendo controller because have you touched the D-pad on that thing? It's probably the worst D-pad Nintendo has ever made. Um, 3DS and DS D-pads weren't great, and I can't really attribute that to being mobile or portable because. I don't know. Um, Vita D-Pad definitely feels a lot better. I don't know, it just feels weak and it wears pretty easily. Like, my um, collector's edition bought within like a few months ago, um, Zelda 3DS is already starting to get um, fingerprint stain, like, greasiness, and it's like, Probably the fastest I've ever had that happen to a D-pad. So I'm not very impressed with build quality on that. Ah. 
crazy easy to accidentally activate that uh, rocket jump. It's a very technical little game. I like it. It would benefit from a tutorial, but I mean, alpha and all that. Or it's listed as pre-purchase. I'm not sure exactly what stage in development it is, but uh, the story mode definitely apparently isn't you know ready to show. I think I will like it. I'm assuming the slowdown is intentional, you know, game, you know, to be emulating the game, uh, Game Boy. I keep wanting to say Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color, and that's not what this is. You know, I never had a classic Game Boy. I, I had a Game Boy Pocket, and I feel I got the better deal, because I played with friends Game Boy, original Game Boy a bit, and, um... Pioneer and all of that, but still, um, huge, ugly screen, frankly. Uh, I know it's a classic palette now, but the green, why green? Why not gray? The, the Game Boy Pocket really fixed all of my problems with the original Game Boy, including the monstrous batteries. Like, did that thing live forever on those massive batteries, or did it drain like the um, Game Gear? I never played it long enough to drain its poor batteries. And these things are hovering around, they're kind of annoying. I have no idea if this has an end, or... Oh, we're about 15 minutes in, I guess that's a good show-off. I'm pretty sure we're not going to end up with more enemies, so... I guess this shows you the potential of Joy Lancer. I really like how tactical it feels. It feels like a really good technical brawler, um, more so than, you know, an action platformer, because there's a lot of depth going on in fairly simple controls, but uh, you gotta have some very precise stuff, and that's usually not the case with- oh my god, I just frickin' said, probably not gonna see more new enemies, and then, what do you have for me, game? You have a new enemy that's kicking my butt, and the charging mechanic, um, to be frank, when I first saw that, I thought that was gonna be super annoying, it's actually really fun. You're dead? Yeah, you're dead. Alright. I'll give you I'll give you one more level. Yeah. The charging mechanic feels really satisfying. I initially thought, ah. It was gonna be lame and annoying. It does, um You you're gonna have to be able to mash to play this game. It's definitely a mashy game with the charging. Um Oh! Okay. I'm glad I didn't quit. That would have been embarrassing. KO'd 19 times. That's bad. Um. Oh, there's different things. Oh, and there's different challenges. Holy crap. I should have noticed this. Altered beasts. One life to win. That's not gonna happen. Broken lance. Make a motor. Midas touch. Your enemy is a weapon. There's joy in Lansing! I didn't... Oh. Let's see what the enemy is a pat or enemy is a weapon means. Does that mean they all turn into things? It sure does! Okay. So it works like, um... Crap. You know, those games where enemies drop weapon stuff. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back. So I can't start the game. Can't motor lancing. So alright, gauntlet. Let's take a look at what altered beasts means. Just stronger enemies from the outset. Yeah, you gotta be okay with dash um, you know, mashing, but I really like the combat. Not gonna be for everyone, but if you can mash and, you know, Mega Man or any fighter ever, you can play this game. That's very satisfying for some reason. A good sound effect. That's, that's a very important thing of, you know, if you're gonna make a game with a chainsaw or 
a minigun or something you have to charge up, like a, like a laser you charge up, you gotta make the charge up sound satisfying. Because otherwise it's just weak. And sound design is a very underrated, uh, under-considered part of game design. It's really important to make things feel satisfying. I'm thinking the slowdown, like, maybe that's just hit stop. Like, you know, when you hit stuff, maybe it just, you know, it's supposed to be that dramatic hit stop, and it just seems like it's slowed down because I'm getting a lot of hits in quick. Alright, this is Joy Lancer, and I better stop playing before I subject you to 20 more minutes of me dying. But I'm definitely looking forward to this one on release. You can get it on itch.io, um, I'll link to the itch.io page and their actual website that has a bit more info, and, you know, info you know, information to where to purchase it. Definitely one to keep an eye out on. 